Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. So in this today's video, we'll be solving the problem palindromic partitioning and this is a hard level question and the company tags are Google, Amazon, Microsoft and Google. All right. So the question says, uh, given a string str, a partitioning of the string is a palindrome partitioning if every substring of the partition is a palindrome. All right. So if you can divide partitioning in the sense division, all right, if you can divide the string in a uh, like uh, such that every substring that is the result of this division is a palindrome then you call that a partitioning of the string is a palind palindrome partitioning all right that sort of division is known as palindromic partitioning so determine the fewest cuts needed for palindrome partitioning of the given string and these are some of the examples that we look into it uh, and uh, so expected time complexity is o of n square n is the length of the string because n can go up to 500 so we are we can happily use o of n square same is the case with auxiliary, uh, auxiliary space. So this is what we'll be making the use of. So uh, like O of n square uh, thing has been given to us, clearly mentioned, even the constraints say that. So here is the key point that uh, decides like what is the approach that we need to use, all right? And this is the solution that you can see. Uh, and now we'll just go to the test cases. So STR that is being given to us is A, B, A. So this is a very big substring that has been given. So this uh, bottom thing has been, uh, I've written this separately just for the explanation sake. Now let us just understand the question with this example uh, that has been given. So the output, output says the answer is three. Why? Because after three partitioning substrings, after three partitioning, okay, or you could say after three partition, the substrings are A, B, A, B, 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 A, B, b a b a b a okay so this is a palindrome this is a palindrome this is a palindrome this is a palindrome so it's very obvious it's very obvious to say that if there is a line of uh, if there is a line okay if there is a line uh, which is a combination of three parts all right which is a combination of three parts this is a part, this is a part, this is a part. This is a line, which is a combination of three parts. And for this to happen, how many cuts do you actually need? Just two cuts, all right? If you are actually interested, if you are actually interested to make a line into three parts, you actually need only two cuts, okay? So if I say I need three parts, I need three minus one. 3 minus 1 that is 2 cuts all right there is only 2 cuts that are in it now here i am forming 4 parts all right 4 substrings so if i am interested in making 4 substrings how many cuts do i need 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 so that is the reason 3 cuts all right that is the reason so we do not need to uh, return where are the exact points we are cutting all right here the cut happened at this point okay a b a triple b a b b a triple b a b and again this point and again at this point so this single b and again at this so like three cuts first cut second cut and third cut resulted in a b b a b b and b and a b a b a okay so that is the reason we have got four substrings so the main point to realize here is that if you are uh, here we have done four substrings we have uh, the partition have resulted in four substrings that's because we had done three cuts okay three cuts resulted in four substrings five cuts would result in six substrings very obvious thing just uh, to make sure you people are, are understanding how did we get three uh, and four substrings all right so that is the thing so what is the approach now we have understood the question so it's like minimum number of substrings uh, minimum number of uh, cuts that we need to there might be another possible cuts as well okay but in that case we need to do more number of cuts okay there might be another sort of set of partitions as well because of which you will be resulting uh, you'll be getting a result of all the substrings as uh, palindromes okay there might be some other division as well but that might require more number of cuts so but this is more favorable because we are only using three cuts and we are getting all the substrings as palindrome all right so uh, the, what does this actually mean so two cuts cannot make this condition valid okay so with only just two cuts you cannot get all the substrings are palindrome substrings that is what we can understand from this all right so what is the uh, approach to solve this first approach is pre-computation pre-computation so what do you mean by pre-computation what am i actually trying to pre-compute all right so very obvious thing very obvious thing if i give you this question to solve if i give you this question to solve and very average normal brain also thinks that that okay let us first identify what are the substrings that are palindrome okay that is the first thing that anyone tries to do so if 
if i say that i am starting from this point i will try to check all the lengths of palindrome all the lengths of substrings okay all the lengths of substrings that are palindrome all right that are palindrome and starting from this as well i'll check starting from this index as well as check this from this index also i'll check i'll be checking all the lengths that are possible with, from that particular uh, character all right so that is how i'll be getting all the substrings and i'll be uh, storing whether that particular uh substring is a palindrome or not okay that particular substring is a palindrome or not okay now we have uh, pre computed those things now we have got let us assume we have stored this all these things in a data structure and that data structure shows that yes if i choose a particular substring if i choose a particular substring then that data structure tells whether this is a palindrome or not palindrome or not okay that data structure tells that we have done all this works let us assume we have done all this work and the second work what is the second work that we need to do second work is, is to decide where do we cut it where do we cut it so where do we actually cut it that is the point to be realized so we are cutting at this position we are cutting at this position we are cutting at this position but why am i cutting at this position because once we place the scissors let us assume let the question is assume that you are putting three scissors here okay three scissors here you are putting the three scissors here and with the mission you are cutting you are using them all at once so when you are using them all at once they will cut at once okay when they cut at once the resulting substrings a b a b a b and b and a b a b a all are palindromes all right so you are uh, the the task that is left for you to decide is how many scissors are used so that when you place those scissors at right place at correct place and with the mission if you access them at once at once they will all all of them will cut and the resulting substrings would be a palindrome so that is what you need to decide so your task is to decide number of number of scissors number of scissors that i need to or scissors or cuts okay scissors cuts that i need to i need to do i need to use or i need to use all right so this is a simple thing so first thing is pre compute pre compute all the palindrome second one is where do you play uh, what are the number of scissors so why is this linking with first thing like why is the number of cuts dependent on uh, pre computation like uh, to store a palindrome so because the result of this cuts must result in a palindrome all right the result of this cuts is a palindrome so if you can know where which string is a palindrome so you can actually cut that before lens that's what right so if i if i store that b a b a b b a b b a b is a palindrome a b a b a is a palindrome b is a palindrome a is a palindrome then i can eventually place the scissors at this point and use them and cut it what once so that all the four substrings that are formed will be a palindrome right so this is the reason complete and pre computation is uh, necessary so by pre computation we can store that this particular substrings are palindrome okay once i know that particular substrings are palindrome then i'll be putting the scissors in between and i'll be cutting them all right so that is the use of pre computation so with pre computation you'll also get to know that some other substrings are also palindrome okay there might be some other like a b b b is also a palindrome so you can also place a scissor here and here but here in this case you'll be using five scissors right so if if in case you are trying to say that if in case you are trying to say that this is where i'll be placing a result a scissor and uh, this is where i'll be placing a scissor and uh, this is where i'll be placing a scissor this is where i'll be placing a scissor and this is where i'll be placing a scissor even this what will it result a b a b b b a b and another b and finally a b a b a okay so one substring two substrings three substring four substring five substring six up total six substrings it result it is resulting with a result of five cuts but here we are using five cuts to make all the substrings uh, as palindrome but here in here only three cuts we are using so that is the reason this is the most optimal answer so pre computation store all the possible substrings okay stores the status of all possible substrings whether it's a palindrome or not that is where pre computation is useful pre computation gets the data of all the possible substrings there might be so here 14 uh, length is there so there might be various possibilities of substrings all the status of the particular substrings like right? whether the particular substring is a palindrome or not that we can store it in a data structure and this is a pre computation work and second thing once we get an idea of a particular substring whether it is a parent or not i'll be trying to put the cut uh, scissor at there and i'll try to cut and if that result is giving me an optimal answer then that is fine okay now let us talk about pre computation how are we going to do it so if we just go to this part so this is the example that i have taken a b a b b b a like the first example that has been given so what am i doing i am trying to use a pre computation here so for starting from length 1 starting from length 1 length 1 in the sense a is of length 1 b is of length 1 uh, a is of length 1 again 
uh, b is one length one so each and every individual character is of length one all right so and all of them would be a palindrome a is a palindrome a alone is a palindrome b alone is a palindrome a alone is a palindrome all right so b alone is a palindrome so every character is a palindrome of its own all right every character and this is of length one now come to length two length two all right starting from a from a we have a b as the uh, string substring of length two is that a palindrome no that is not so it is false and now come here b a is this a palindrome no it is not we are only considering only length two okay we are only considering from length two do not uh, think about some external lengths or greater than two lengths only length two so is b a a substring uh, like is a is, is it a palindrome no so that is the reason we are storing false corresponding to two now coming to a so a b is a b a palindrome no again it's a false now come to b is b b a palindrome yes b b is a palindrome that's the reason we are storing true is b b a palindrome again yes it is a palindrome so that's the reason we are storing true is b a palindrome no that's the reason we are storing a false is a b a palindrome no that's the reason we are storing a false and is uh, b b a palindrome again yes it is a palindrome that's the reason we are storing two here true here and is b a palindrome no false and a b a palindrome no false is b a palindrome false a b a palindrome false and b a palindrome false and from a from this point can i take a substring of length two there is no other character so there is nothing to fill that is the reason it's empty similarly come with uh, come to the case of length three length three so a b a all right a b a is it a palindrome yes that is the reason the corresponding value at a with uh, length three is true and coming to b a b b a b is it a palindrome yes that is the reason at corresponding to length three starting with b it is true similarly you check for all the other things and coming to the last one is a b a palindrome yes that is the reason it's true but from b can you consider a length of three because there are only two characters there you need another character which is not there that's the reason you need not fill it so in this way we are using a 2d matrix and filling all the possibilities all the possibilities of a length uh, of a particular substring so starting from a you can have 14 substrings right so a b a b a a b a b b a b a b like various substrings are possible starting with a so all the things we are storing and starting with b also we are storing starting with a is also what we are storing everything every possibility we are storing like every possibility of the substring we are trying to store okay this is the pre-computation this is how pre-computation works and start even with the four you can see a b a b is this uh, a palindrome no that's the reason we have stored false at a so similarly come to this here it is true why the reason being a b b a this is of length four and it is a palindrome that is the reason we have stored true here and coming to five length so is uh, why is this a true because a b b a this is of length five so that is the reason it is true come to this position so it is b b a b b okay this is a palindrome that is the reason we have stored true here and coming to this particular position uh, b b a b a b so five length and it's a palindrome that's the reason we have stored true here and coming to this last one a b a b a yes it's a palindrome that's the reason we have stored true here so you can just do go on so writing this for each and every length possible length. and this is how pre-computation is there and we'll go through the code later okay so we are done with the pre-computation now we understood uh, how are we actually pre-computing it now the second task comes is number of scissors or cuts that i need to use now let us uh, go to this particular thing okay let us issue now, now let us come to this all right so these are the indices and this is the string that has been given all right now let us assume i am at this particular point all right i am at this particular point now if i am at that particular point what is the length of the substring that uh, length of the string that i am dealing with zero and remember that if uh, i am interested in making a string into x parts how many cuts do i need x minus 1 cuts is what i need now the length of the substring or the parts are zero all right here i am zero there is nothing available so the number of cuts are minus 1 all right so it's just for the uh, you know uh, uh, indication purpose that there is nothing here so here the number of cuts i needed minus 1 now let us come to this particular point in between all right this arrow denotes that this arrow denotes that the number of cuts required okay the number of cuts number of cuts required till it's it's left till it's left and make sure and make sure the last the last index character character is included is included and a palindrome is formed and palindrome is formed and palindrome is formed okay this is what it means so if i'm at this particular point if i'm at this particular point then i need to decode how many number of cuts are required so that the string that is available to me like 
this is the only string that is available to me it is a palindrome such that it is a palindrome and leave about this rest leave about the right thing do not worry about the right thing forget that there is something existing in the right okay forget about it just make sure it is disappeared from your view only focus on the left of the arrow okay we are not bothered about anything to the right of the arrow only left of the arrow only left okay i'm stressing on it again and again please do not be confused okay now i'm at this position i'm seeing to my left i see that there is only one a to me okay so what are the number of cuts zero because i am starting at this point i am ending at this point and this is a palindrome itself because a character on its own is a palindrome so the number of cuts required here is zero all right we have got a clarity we have got a clarity about this uh, all right i'll also even write this cuts with a uh, yellow so that for better clarity minus 1 and 0 now come to this particular point okay come to this particular point now i see that to my left i have b and i need to decode the number of cuts so that i can get b uh, the la i can include this uh, the string that uh, the character that is to the left of this arrow that is b into a palindrome all right the divisions into that number of divisions that i need so that i can include b into the palindrome okay into some or the other palindrome and the uh, other part is also a palindrome now here i need to cut i need to make a cut here right i need to make a cut here so that this is a palindrome this is a palindrome all right can i include b with a can i include b with a no a b is not a palindrome so i need to cut here so that i could get a palindrome here i could get a palindrome here so the, what are the number of cuts the number of cuts are one all right the number of cuts are one i hope you people are understanding what are we trying to do so we are actually trying to find the number of cuts that we need to do to the left so that the last most index is uh, is a part of some or the other uh, uh, palindromic substring now come to this this would give you a better clarity now come to this now to the left what do i find i find a so what are the number of cuts that I, that i need i i see that a b a is a palindrome a b is a is a palindrome so from the start to the end is a palindrome so how many cuts do i need here zero cuts i do not need any cut because from the start to the end i find this whole thing that i have right now in my hand is a palindrome so i do not need any cuts so the number of cuts is zero all right number of cuts is zero i hope you people understood what are we trying to do here as well so now at this point at this particular point i see to the left i have a now this a must be a part of some or the other palindrome and i see from the beginning to the end everything is a palindrome a b a is a palindrome so here the number of cuts that are required is zero now come to this particular point now i see that b is a palindrome if it's included with this b a b is a palindrome right b a b is a palindrome and for this to happen i need to make a cut here i need to make a cut here so that this would result in a palindrome this alone is a palindrome and this alone is a palindrome all right so the number of cuts that are required is one but how are we getting it how are we going to get uh, i just erase one thing here i guess uh, i'll just yeah b okay b is what i've erased uh and how are we going to get it so i last this particular person i last this particular b how many cuts were there to your left it says there were only zero cuts to make to make the string to the left side as paragraph uh, as uh, uh, palindrome so it will says okay i need to make a cut here i need to make a cut here and you are saying to the left there are zero so totally i need to make one cut okay 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 equal to 1 to the left of b there are zero cuts and at b i need to make a cut so totally 0 plus 1 equal to 1 i need to make a one cut and where is that cut this is the cut this is the cut that i am going to make so that i could get a as one palindrome and b a b as one palindrome all right i hope you people understood where is the cut and how many cuts are we going are we doing actually now come to this particular point this is a very tedious process but i am doing it so that you people will get a clarity now coming to this particular step do we find any palindrome here yes i find that that this both can be a part of palindrome this both can be a palindrome part of palindrome so i need to if i cut a, make a cut here if i make a cut here then aba would be a palindrome bb would be a palindrome so the number of cuts here is just one the minimum number of cuts but how am i going to get it so i'll be asking i'll be asking uh, i'll be asking this particular uh, b how many cuts were there to your left to make the string to the left side of yours as palindrome it says zero number of cuts okay now add one more because i am going to cut it here i am going to cut it here so the total number of uh, uh, cuts that will be there is one because 0 plus 1 equal to 1 here b says re b replies with zero and because we are doing a cut over here so 0 plus 1 equal to 1 that is what we are writing here all right i peep, i hope you people understanding what are we actually trying to do and now coming to this particular point so again i see that this three can be a palindrome these three can be a part of palindrome okay now i'll be asking this particular b 
okay how many cuts did you had to your left it says zero number of cuts okay now i had one cut because i'm going to add i'm doing going to do a cut here so that which results in aba as one palindrome and bbb as one palindrome so total totally how many number of cuts zero plus one equal to one all right zero plus one equal to one that's it very simple it's just a very common sense thing that we are doing it's just like very common sense we are just looking out for the last longest uh, palindrome we can form with the last character that we are dealing with okay coming to this particular uh, stuff now i'll be seeing looking at this i see that this particular whole thing can be a palindrome 2 to 6 can be a palindrome so the now i'll be asking a what are the number of cuts that are required to the previous of yours a says i needed one i needed one uh, to the left of mine for making a palindrome okay now add one more so that i can have a total of two cuts where are my uh, cut that i'm doing here there is a cut here there is a cut so that a would be a palindrome b would be a palindrome and a b b b a would be a palindrome so totally with two cuts i'm getting three palindromic substrings okay remember the fact that we are not dealing with the right we are not dealing with the right leave the right side okay you have, we are at this particular element now we are at this particular arrow now so leave to the right of the uh, arrow do not worry about the right side of the arrow all right now come to this particular uh, arrow okay now coming to this particular arrow i see i uh, i see that this b this b is included with this if it is included with this first first if this is included with this i find that this whole thing is a palindrome b a b b b a b is a palindrome okay so i'll be asking this b how many number of cuts were required to your left it says zero so okay add one more cut so that the result would be one so where am i doing this cut i'll be doing this cut here so that the resulting palindrome is this a is a palindrome and b a b b a b is a palindrome okay so total with one cut we are getting two palindromic substrings all right so done this is also done and uh, coming to this point uh, I'll, i'm erasing each and everything so that it uh, doesn't make any confusion okay come to this part now 8 so if i see that carefully 4 and 8 if this is there b b a b b can be a part of the palindrome this b can be a part of this substring uh, starting with uh, starting at 4 so that b b a b b is a palindrome if this is a palindrome i'll be asking to this b how many uh, cuts were required to your left b says one cut was required so add one more so that my answer would be 2 so where am i doing it i'll be doing a cut here and i'll be doing a cut here so that a is a palindrome b b b a b is a palindrome and b b a b b is a palindrome so totally three palindromes i'm getting with two cuts okay by including the last character that i'm dealing that is b all right and this is also done and now come to this particular position come to this particular position now i see this can be a part of palindrome this a can be part of palindrome starting from here okay a b b a is a part of uh, this is a palindrome now i'll be asking this particular a how many cuts were required to your left a says one cut was required okay now add one more because i'm going to cut now uh, one more so that result would be uh, the result would be two so where am i cutting i'll be cutting up i'll be cutting it here i'll be cutting it here for sure and also where is the other part that i, I can get i will cut it here so that the resulting substring a b a b b b a b b a with two cuts i'm getting three palindromic substrings all right so this is also clear this is also clear um okay so it takes time for me to erase all this stuff and right uh, okay now this is also fine and coming to this point coming to this point now i see that 10 can be a part of uh, substring starting from this starting from 5 to 10 5 to 10 okay b a b b a b okay b a b b a b so i'll be asking to the left of b how many cuts were required to make the left of yours as palindrome it says one it replies with one okay now add one more add one more so that answer would be two so where am i actually going to cut i'm going to cut it this point i'm going to cut it this point also i'm going to cut at this point okay because of which i'm going to get a b a as one palindromic substring b b as one palindromic substring and b a b a b uh, b a b b a b as one more palindrome zero. so totally three palindromic substance i'm going to get with two cuts okay so that's very evident very very evident all right so there's no place for confusion here to be honest uh okay i'll just erase one of the part uh fine this is also done and now coming to this particular point okay now this a this a can be included with this particular thing 9 11 uh, starting with from 9 so this is a palindrome now i'll be asking to the left of uh, to a what were the number of cuts required to your left a says two number of cuts okay now add one more so that my answer would be my answer would be three okay so where am i actually cutting where are the three cuts this is one of the cut that i'm going to do uh, and uh, this is one of the cut that i'm going to do and this is one of the cut that i'm going to do. there might be another possibilities as well no worries so a is a palindrome b a b is a palindrome b b a b b is a palindrome and a b a is a palindrome okay so we have got four palindromic substrings with three cuts that is what it's indicating this is the most optimal thing all right most optimal thing most minimum number of uh, cuts that we are dealing with all right so this is also done 
and uh, coming to this particular uh, point now okay we are approaching the end now 12 where can it be included the largest substring that can be from uh, the uh, largest palindrome substring from 8 so this can be a part of this now i'll ask to the 8 how many were cuts were needed to your left it says one okay now add one more because i'm going to cut now so one plus one that is two so where am i going to cut i'm going to cut here and the previous cut can be at this particular position at this particular position because b a b b a b b a b okay b a b b a b and b okay b a b b this is a palindromic substance if you can just see carefully and a is a palindrome uh, a palindromic substance so we have got three palindromic substances with two cuts all right so a b a b b b a b and b a b a b a a b all right this particular uh, substance so we have got three palindromic substances here as well all right now that's done and now coming to this last point uh, that is their last uh, cut so from this here, here we are pointing the arrow doesn't mean we are cutting here we are seeing to the left okay now we are seeing to the left now this a can be included with this particular nine okay with this nine and this is a longest palindromic substring that i can make including this a all right now i'll be asking to the left uh, to a what would the number of things uh, number of cuts that are required to your left it says two okay now add one more so that my answer would be three so where am i going to cut now i'm going to cut here and i'm going to cut another spot as well so here i'm going to cut here and i'm going to cut here okay so a would be a substring a palindromic substring b a b would be a palindromic substring b b a b b would be a palindromic substring and this anyways this is a palindrome so total four palindromic substances i've got with three uh, cuts so that is the reason three is the most optimal answer that is the reason three is the answer in the output as well so this is how we are doing this is the dry run of the code that we are going to uh, see now so it's very evident this is how we'll be solving very easy approach as well it's just like it's a very common sense that we are using like to the left you are seeing finding the largest substring that can be found and that is the point we are asking to the left how many cuts were there now we are adding one more cut because we are going to cut at that particular point that's it so let us go through the code now i hope you people understood the approach if not see the video once again so that you will definitely understand what are we trying to do and uh, come to this so this this position this thing is uh, the first thing pre-computation pre-computation is what this is the code so we are starting from like we are a 2d matrix this is the 2d matrix and like j is the end point i is the starting point okay i starting point of length one starting point of length two starting uh like sorry starting point end point starting point and like this is length one is what we are doing first and the length two and length three so every length possible length four, 14 lengths uh 14 different lengths are there right because uh, palindrome is of 14 uh, sorry the string given is of 14 length so there are 14 uh, uh lengths and for each length we are checking if that is the case so how are we doing it so dp of i of j is equal to str of i equal to str of j so let us assume this is the starting point i point and this is the j point okay now i wanted to know if this is a palindromic substring or not what will i check if i check this two elements are equal okay i'll be checking if these two are equal so s of i must be equal to s of j if these two are equal and also this middle part middle part is a palindrome and this can be checked by dp this already we have come we have pre-computed that is like dp of i plus one because i is where we are standing now the next part is i plus one and j is where is the end point the previous point is j minus one so i'll be checking this this result okay and this is also if it is true and this is also if it's true then the resulting would be a palindrome or a palindrome isn't it so the characters end at the start and the end must be uh, equal and also the between whatever it is there must be a palindrome if both of these are satisfying then the whole substring starting with from i ending with j is a palindrome all right so that is the basic common sense basic common sense nothing uh, you know very tough here so that is what we are doing and we are trying we are pre-computing it now coming to this part okay coming to the, the same thing so we are checking if for example dp of j minus 1 i minus 1 so j minus 1 indicates the starting point and i minus 1 indicates the end point so if a particular substring if let us assume i am at this i and this is j if i assume like if i get to know this is true what does it mean is it is true it is true in the sense yes it is a palindrome if i know that it is a palindrome that means i'll be asking to the previous one i'll be asking to the previous cuts of j minus 1 plus 1 i'll be asking it cuts of j minus 1 and i'll be adding plus 1 to it so and i'll be putting the minimum of it so so initially we are putting all the cuts as n minus 1 because if I take n length n length uh, sorry if I take an uh, line and if I wanted to make it n parts 
so how many number of cuts i need n minus 1 that is very evident right n minus 1 so that is the maximum it can go up to it cannot it cannot go up to more than that because here 14 characters are there 14 characters are there so i can only make maximum of 13 cuts i cannot make more than 30 cuts so that is the reason we are filling each and every at position with 13 and then we are trying to minimize it so if i find a particular substring if i find a particular substring as a palindrome then i'll be asking to the left how many cuts were there and i'll be adding plus 1 to it and this is how i'll be updating the minimum i'll be taking the minimum of uh, the present and the answer that i'm getting from the uh, cuts of j minus 1 so and finally we'll be writing cuts of n i hope you people understood try to do the try run you will definitely understand uh, what i have i have already done the try run you can just watch it if you are not able to understand all right this is a uh, simple uh, logic and concept but thing is implementation uh, way you are implementing would be would be like you know taken into consideration that's where you need to really work on and uh, uh, this that's it so i will just uh, submit this code also for your reference and and check okay it must work because uh, okay uh, the piece must be first Uh, fine uh, it's uh, there are some issues not an issue it will be working and for your reference the codes in java python are also pasted in the uh, are also given in the description you can check them out and if there are any doubts feel free to comment in the comment section this is a, a very uh, you know uh, easy approach as well as it only work it's only dependent upon the way you are trying to implement nothing else nothing is tough in this part just the way that you are going to implement and uh, uh, we are even not even you know checking one second we are pre computing everything that reduces a lot of time and we are using the result that have been stored and with that we common sense is, it's very common sense uh, uh, like uh, just use the previous number of cuts and add number uh, one to it so that we can uh, get the number of cuts that are required to make a particular substring uh, palindrome all right so i hope you people understood and enjoyed this video if there are any doubts please feel free to comment in the comment section so thank you for watching stay tuned